goodness, that's bright. Hi, my name's Darren. Welcome to my workshop. Today I'm going to do a head-to-head -head comparison between the Danny U handheld electronic 40 meter laser distance meter mini laser rangefinder laser tape. That's its name. <laughs> Did you get that? In case you didn't, it's the, and I might be pronouncing the first part wrong because it's spelled D-A-N-I-U. So it's the Danu handheld electronic 40 meter laser distance meter <laughs> mini laser rangefinder laser tape. That fella there versus my trusty old Bosch GLM 7000. That's uh, proven to be quite accurate. I've been very happy with that. So we're going to do a few head-to-head -head comparisons with them and see if it's worth your while grabbing one of these. After all, this only cost me $20 Australian plus postage. Took a month of Sundays to get here though. <laughs> all right. So. In order to measure it, I'm just going to set up some boards at fixed distances on either end of my workbench and you know, do comparative measurements between the two. Throw a tape measure in there for good measure, compare all three, and uh, we'll see which we think is the most accurate at the end. Okay, so here's our test setup. We've got two blocks of wood. Uh, they've been set up against bench dogs at either end to hold them square and hold them still, so we've got a consistent measurement. And I've put a cross on one of the pieces of wood so as to uh, be measuring from the same point each time so our comparisons are relatively accurate. Alrighty, what we're hoping is everything will come out the same. Then we've got three great tools. Uh, so first off I'm going to use my fest tool tape measure. Um, I'll come over here to this camera because it's going to be easier. How much can we see there? All right. So you can see there's a window in the top and the idea behind that is it allows you to take a measurement from the back of the tape measure to the clip at the front instead of having to you know, read straight off the front of the tape. It has gradients on the back to allow that. So yeah, we'll be able to take inside measurements using the tape measure here. Try and ensure we keep it square. That's not the easiest thing to do but I make that 148.4 centimetres, 148.4 centimetres. <laughs> 148.4, okay. Now, of course, it's only millimetre accuracy on the tape measure, but all measurements were the same, 148.4 centimetres, or 1.484 metres. Okay, let's move on to the Bosch GLM7000, that fellow there, and we'll, again, we'll be measuring from the back of the unit, which is set with this button here. So I'll turn it on, and you can see picture in the front, uh, sorry, picture here that represents the unit and you can see there's an arrow moving from the back up, it means we're measuring from the back up, that's exactly what we want and that is the standard. Okay, so we've got the centre centred on our cross there and we're going to take our first measurement and that's 1.485, so there's a metre, a millimetre difference, uh, 1.485 Five. And then measurement number two. One four eight four. One point four eight four. And that's the third. One point four eight five. That millimetre seems to be, so as I can tell, the cushioning in the back here. We've got like a rubber coating. Let's try again. I'll push it in. We'll see if we can get one point four eight four again. No, one point four eight five that time. No, one point four eight five. Okay. That's giving a, it's a fairly consistent 1.485. One of the great things about this is you can see all the previous readings as you step through, which is quite handy. And for the next trick, we will go with the 
Danu. Little pocket sized fella, literally. Okay, so here we go. Turn him on, I guess. Now the display on this fella is much smaller than the display on the other one. 1486. 1.486 1 1.486 so it's consistent but consistently differing from our tape measure by a millimeter uh, by two millimeters and from our Bosch by one millimeter so no three are the same that does not help <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to do a measurement from the workbench to the ceiling and we're just to make sure we're consistent, there's a little dot on the bench here from some uh, stain or varnish, well both actually, it's a varnish and stain. So I'm going to use that as a centre point each time. One point eight nine five. One point eight nine five. Oh, are we doing that? One point eight nine five. And one point eight nine five. We won't include the tape measure in this measurement because we will get droop, and after all, that's why we have laser measures. Is when it's difficult to use one of these. Okay. So now we're going to measure to the ceiling. This display is not so great. 1.897. We we're going to have to do one more test to see which is more accurate. Let's go over to the table saw. Okay, so we're over at the table saw here. And first things first, you can see that uh, I've got the fence set to 40 centimetres, 400 millimetres. <laughs> and here is the plug for the table saw. Why is that important? Because I'm going to be touching the blade. All right, so on with it. Our fence is 40 centimetres from our blade. We've got our laser measurers. Let's see how accurate we get. So we're going to start by just clearing this off. Put all zeros. Both of them will take three measurements and store three measurements. So I'm not going to take it away and write it down each time. I'm just going to pop them in. That's our reference point there. We're going to measure from there each time. Again, the reason I'm taking it away and putting it back is to see how easy and repeatable it is to use. You know, if it was rounded on the bottom, for example, it would make it hard to repeat this kind of measurement. There you go. So the Bosch certainly agrees with the table saw. There you go, just in case you want it on that camera. So there we are. So the Bosch agrees with the table saw. Let's see what this little Donyu does. This one's slightly rounded, which means it's you can rock it, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I can hold it fairly still and fairly flat, which is good. All right, that's our measurement number one. Uh, 40.03. We had one in the middle which I think I put off when I knocked it a little bit, but there we go. So, yeah, the Bosch agrees with the table saw. This seems to be out by three millimeters. All right, now they both have multiple features. They can both measure from the back of the unit or the front of the unit. Now, these are the different buttons to select that. This center button on this one seems to do the function of both of these buttons on this unit. Which, to be honest, I actually prefer having two separate buttons. But otherwise, they're much the same. They both will do area and Pythagoras measurements as well. And what do we mean by that? 
Well, let's say this is you, or me, doesn't matter. I suppose it looks more like me. Let's pop me there, and there's me. This is the floor, and this is the wall. And we want to know how high a certain spot is on the wall. Uh, it's too high for us to use a tape measure. So what we're going to do is we'll start off, we'll take a horizontal measurement, then we'll take another me measurement on the hypotenuse up to here, and it'll do a calculation and tell us this third measurement. And that's the Pythagoras measurement. So both of these do this. Uh, on this one, it's this button to select it. On this one, it's here. And in both cases, they cycle through the modes between Pythagoras, area, and uh, volume. They'll both do all of those. All right, pros and cons of each unit. Let's start with the Danu, if that's how it's pronounced. Forgive me if it's not. Okay, uh, let's start with the pros. It's very small. It's comfortable to hold. Um, in, in spite of the fact that it's rounded on the corners, it does sit nicely on flat benches and stuff. Uh, it fits nicely in your pocket. It's rechargeable via USB, which is a definite plus. Um, and it was only $20 on banggood.com. So, you know, that's pretty good too. Uh, plus postage. Okay, so now for the cons. Okay, I don't like the screen. I think it's very small and uh, it's not easy to read in bright light or even with just the light reflecting on it the wrong way. You see what I mean there, I should imagine. And of course, as you move around in a workshop with multiple light sources like this one has, and I assume most people have more than one light in their workshop these days, there will be a lot of times it's just awkward to read. Okay, that was con number one. Call number two was that it's not as accurate as the Bosch. It seems to be out by about two to three mil, depending on the distance of the measurement, which, you know, eh, that's all right for estimate work. If you're doing estimates for curtains, something like that, something where a few millimeters doesn't matter, this would be fine. But if you're gonna set up your table saw with it, you're gonna be making some very sloppy furniture. Okay, uh, and one other con, I think uh, it's not really much, nothing really worth worrying about. However, there's a hole here for a little lanyard. It does come with a lanyard, but of course, if you loop the lanyard through there, it'll no longer sit flush on this surface as you want to use this as a measuring point, and that's your main measuring point in the back of the unit. So effectively, you, it, there's pointless putting the lanyard on if for any accurate work again. It's going to put you out by another couple of millimetres. So once again, this is more for estimate work. And you know, for $20, if you want to get a rough idea of how big your back garden is, this might be ideal for you. Okay, now the pros of the Bosch. Well, it has a bigger, brighter, easier to read screen that you can read more easily out in bright light and even in the workshop light at different angles. <laughs> Much better. It has much in the same number of way of functions. However, when you cycle through the different marking positions or different baseline positions of the measurement, you'll see here we have the top, we have an extra one in the middle. And if we flip it over, that's why. Underneath, this one has a tripod mounting point. So you can measure from that point as being the beginning of your marking as well. So that's one extra thing. Uh, and of course the other big plus is this was much more accurate. It's really only rated at plus or minus two millimetres, but I'm finding I'm getting plus or minus half a mil sometimes, uh, sometimes plus or minus one millimetre. It depends on the distance of the measurement, but it works very well up close. Short measurements are very accurate. And so in the workshop, when you're setting up a saw blade, it's great. It really is. This has never really let me down been very very handy okay cons of the unit this has double a batteries a triple a batteries sorry isn't rechargeable like the one from banggood and of course it's a bigger bulkier unit but of course for a bigger screen <laughs> you need a bigger unit it's not uncomfortable to hold it's not awkward to use it sits nice and flat on a surface on any surface pretty much so that makes measurements nice and easy
It's a little bit bigger than you would want for the top pocket of your shirt, but that's okay. That's not what it's for. Now, if you wanted to carry it around, there is a little belt pouch. So overall, what would I recommend? Okay, for workshop use, definitely something like the Bosch, something higher end. I'm sure, it's like $100 dearer, but it's also a lot more accurate and a lot more reliable. For estimates and something you don't really want to spend a lot of money on, this fella will do the job. Okay, so that brings us to the end. You might be wondering why I didn't take it outside and do long range measurements. Well, if it's a workshop, we're doing workshop measurements and I'm trying to see what's suitable for workshop use. So that's what we did. So hopefully that has been of some use. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.